A lot of people like to install custom graphics for Football Manager. Things like uh, logos, like Liverpool logo here, and uh, real player faces, match kits. And uh, this is um, something that people sometimes are struggling with. So compared to my normal graphics videos, this is going to be a longer one, more in depth, showing every step. So if you've been trying to get graphics to work, maybe you checked out one of my shorter guides or somebody else's guides, and it didn't work, this could be the guide for you. So first off, to download graphics packs, we're going to do this one really step by step now. And uh, this is a web page that have face packs, logo packs, match kits, and much, much more. I'm going to put a link in the description below to it. And uh, for example, let's say we want to download player faces. This is a huge face pack, like it's all over 11 gigabytes large. It's going to be very, very challenging to download. One of the comments I usually get is that you have to pay to download these packs. Now, you don't. You need to sign up. Uh, but if you look at my account here, there's no premium membership. I can also go to uh, content uh, subscriptions and so not content subscriptions, but shop orders. And we can see that I can order a premium membership. I don't have it. But if you like this page and want to support it, you should get one. And to show that this is my normal, my real account to this page. And I've been having a premium account for years because I want to support them. But you don't have to. Maybe you're in a financial situation that where it's just not right for you. And I want to show you that you just need to sign out. You don't need to pay anything. So if we go back to this graphic pack, as I told you, it's huge. And uh, they recommend you to pay to get some bonuses to be easy to download. But what you can do and what I recommend, because you don't want to download this through the web browser. This, as I said, is over 11 gigabytes uh, large. It's a huge file. It's going to take ages. And if anything happens with your internet connection, it might be like you have to start over if you're unlucky. Instead, what I recommend is you go for the torrent link. And torrent is basically a old file sharing format where everybody that downloads the files share the download with each other. So you might be downloading the files uh, from thousands of other football manager players that are downloading it right now. And to download it, you need a torrent application. Personally, I use uTorrent, but I want to tell you guys, I'm not a computer security expert. I have no idea if it's a good or a safe application. You need to come down to your decisions there. I've been using uTorrent for like 20 years. I haven't had any trouble with it. But just Google it and you probably find some information. You also probably find some other alternatives. And then we're going to download the torrent link. And uh, when it's done, we just click it and it's going to open in uTorrent for me or whatever application you use. Now, when it starts downloading, it uh, both downloads and uploads at the same time. So you are downloading this from other people. While you're downloading it, other people can download it from you. And that's basically what's going to make this much quicker than compared to downloading it from a web page because there's going to be so many people that you can download it from. And as you can tell, the yeah, speed is going up and up and up. But this is a, a huge file, so it's going to take quite some time anyway. But uh, one of the strongest things with the torrents is that we could just exit the application maybe you're going to bed and then you boot up your computer tomorrow and you start up the uh, uTorrent or whatever application you're using and uh, now of course since I'm recording things is <laughs> taking a little bit of delay probably because I just ended it and then maybe it's like savings and stuff and now this will just uh, start again Maybe it's like you need to do a check or something, but you can like download this and it doesn't matter if you exit the application, if you turn your computer off. So, and this is very important because I said, this is a huge file. It's going to be very, very annoying to try to download it from the browser. You want a, a solution where if something happens, you don't have to start it over. But as the TV chefs do, I've already downloaded it because we don't go sit here and wait for hours. So the next thing we need to do is go to Documents, Sports Interactive, Football Manager 24. This is where you put graphics. But I already, this is the graphics packs that I downloaded. And when you download it, it comes as a compressed folder. 
And fourth, we've managed to be able to use it when need to decompress it. And no matter if you're using Mac or PC, this should be an option to extract it when you right click it. I have an application installed for it, but it should be also a default option. And if you if this if you don't find an option to do it, just Google like uh, Windows uh, unzip or Windows unrar or Mac unzip or Mac unrar. It should be a free application to allow you to do this. But once again, this is a huge 11 gigabyte file, so it's going to take a long time. So it's going to do once again that I'm going to jump ahead. And uh, while I took a break for this one to extract, you can tell that if you jump back to Foot Manager, also took the time to remove the player faces. So we no longer have the face pack installed. It's gone. And uh, what we need to do now is I'm going to go, this is the folder that I got when I extracted the, the downloaded folder. And inside of here, I can go a few steps. And here are the two folders that are containing the player faces and other stuff that I want to use with Football Manager. So it's going to move them back to the Sports Interactive folder. And from here, I can move them into the FM24 folder. And of course, in the FM24 folder, I'm going to move them into a folder called Graphics. And if this is the first time you're doing this, you might not have the Graphics folder. All you need to do is right click create a new folder and name it graphics now i have the faces here and of course i already had the logos and the kits now to get it working in the football manager we're going to go for uh, preferences and uh, under advanced option interface we're going to go down to skin and for now i'm going to unclick this one because i wanted to load everything fresh but later on you probably want to bring that one back so uh, you don't get shorter loading times. And I'm also going to make sure that we're going to reload the skin. Just to make sure that this loads everything. And now the player faces are back in the game. And if you just go back to this web page, like remember the torrent link, there are for that, that's an option for everything. You just need to go pause everything. Because this is where like people can suck. Oh, I need to pay or something like that. But as I said, if you want to support them, I support them personally, not on this account, but on my normal account, definitely go ahead and do that. And under FM24 Essentials, you have a lot of links, but I prefer to look at the download things because I think it gives me a better view. And you can see like I have player faces, I have match kits, I have logos, I have backgrounds like stadiums and things like that. And of course, there are other things here like tactics and stuff that may help you. And I hope that this video was able to help you if you've been struggling with, with other videos. And uh, if it's working, please share it in the comment section below so other people can, that are struggling can see that this actually works. And of course, if you are still struggling after this video, also use the comment section below and let me know. And I will, to the best of my ability, try to help you out. And I would be very, very grateful if you press that like button. Thank you for watching.